Hi all, welcome back to Guide to SolidWorks. Today we are going to look at a tutorial based around drawing, and in particular setting up a drawing page. Um, it's nice to be able to set up our own custom pages rather than just using the ones in SolidWorks. So we're going to run through the process of doing that uh, in this tutorial. So let's have a look. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I open up SolidWorks, I'm going to go to drawing and I'm going to OK that. Now this will load up um, my drawing options that I can use. If I was to use the standard drawing options here, I get a range from SolidWorks. Um, so I've got the A1, I've got the A4, and I can go into Browse and there's multiple more options in the Browse options here. So if I go into Browse, I've got all of these different types that I can use. Now. I don't want any of these. I want to create my own size. So I'm going to go to a custom sheet size here. And I'm going to create my size in relationship to an A3 sheet. So if I just jump back out here, click on the A3 sheet, custom size. Now it's going to give me an A3 custom size here of 420 by 297. I'm just going to click OK on that because I'm happy with that custom size. Now it's going to ask me to insert a model. I'm not interested in inserting a model at the moment. I'm just wanting to um, look at creating my template. So I'm going to exit that there. Now this leaves me with a page here in the background that's all greyed out. That's not really got any uh, information in it. So let's have a run through how we create that information. So the first thing I'm going to do is right click on the page. And I'm going to go to edit sheet format there. And that will allow me now to start editing this page. So I'm going to go to sketch and I'm going to add a border in first. So I go here to my corner rectangle and I'm going to go down to the bottom corner here. And you'll see as I get to this bottom corner it will snap to the bottom corner there. I'm going to drag this up and across and all the way up to the top corner and it will snap there. Okay. Now there's a quick way of finding to make sure we're in the right place. If I click this bottom corner of my rectangle here, I will get given the exact coordinates where it is. So in the x direction from this bottom corner, it's 10 across, and y 10 up. So I want this border to be 10 mil in from the edge, so it should be all the way around. So I'm happy with that. So tick there. Now, just so this stays in exactly the right place when I'm creating the rest of my template, I'm going to highlight it and I'm going to fix that in place like so. So I've got a border all the way around fixed in place. Now I've got that border in place I can start to put in um, my bottom section here where I'm going to have all my drawing information. So I'm going to get a line and I'm just going to start sketching this in. All the way across, down, there. So I'm just going to put some sizes to this. Um, so I want the height up the side here um, uh, to be fifty high. And then I want the top section here going up across there. Oh, not from the center. Top line here to be 88 plus 45 plus 55. Now that's just a little trick there. Rather than us having to type in the full distance or figure it out for ourselves, why not just type it into the system, press enter, and the software will work it out for us. Okay. Now I'm going to split this. So I'm going to go straight across the sen the center of here a line across there oh I've not done my line in there straight across the center of there to there to get that line across the center just double check the sizes I've got a little bit too high up the side here it should have been f let's zoom in so we can see so I've got 188 across the top and I've got 50 at the side. Now I want this 50 to be 40. So I'm just going to quickly change that there. Like so. Okay. Now once I've got them. 
I'm going to put some more information in. So I'm going to draw a line up here. And I'm just going to start roughing out some uh, sizes now. Some lines and where I want them. Okay. I'm just creating the uh, the shape for my template boxes that I want at the bottom. And then I'll add some sizes to it at the end. too much here. So I've created these lines, I just wanted these um, in this box, so I'm just going to get rid of the ones I don't want out of these, like so. Um, uh, oh, I wanted the bottom one all the way across to there. Now all I'm doing here is just creating the lines to create a bit of a template for different boxes where I can put information in. Um, uh, this just allows me to have a lot of variety of information in these sections that I'm working on. Okay, so some of these we're going to put some sizes to, so let's get some sizes in here. So first of all I want the distance from there to there to be 88. I want my next gap from there to there to be 45, leaving me with a 55 gap on the end. Uh, I want my distance from there to there to be 5, and another 5 from there to there. And again, like so, just getting all them distances in there. Now my distance from this outside edge to this line here is going to be 8. Now obviously it's going to look a bit messy, there's going to be lines all over the place, so we're just going to have to take our time making sure that we are dealing with exactly the right ones. So I'm just going to pull these around a little bit so you can see what we've got where. Okay. Um, I'm going to put two more lines in the center of here. So I've got one there and one here. Like so. I'm going to measure across from there to there. I want that to be 19. from here to here to be 17. Okay, so that's creating a enough information there for us to be able to have all of our sizes in. Um, I could put some sizes in these as well if we needed to, so I can move this along but it's not going to matter too much so I'm just going to leave them pretty much how they are they fit nicely in there so it's not going to make much of a difference now this bit's going to sound count slightly counter um, productive but now I've got all these sizes in I know how everything size where everything is so what I'm going to do so it doesn't get too fiddly and messy I'm going to delete away these sizes. Now normally I would never ever tell you to delete sizes off drawings because we need all of our drawings to be fully defined. But all I've used them for is just to position the lines um, so that I've got enough room to write the information in that I want. And I'm going to have to put some annotation in so I don't want to get all that mixed up with all of my um, dimensions that I've got on there. So. Once I've got it to the right size, I've deleted all of them dimensions off. I'm going to highlight all them lines. And I'm going to fix them in place in the relationships down the side here. 
So they are all now fixed in exactly the same place as where they were measured to, leaving me with my um, sections at the bottom here with all my information to go into. So knowing that then, I'm going to zoom in right into each box and I'm going to start adding some annotation. So I'll go to my annotation box here, I'm going to go to note, and I'm going to start filling the information in within each of the boxes. So I'll start here and go to uh, name. Now obviously some of this is going to be too big for the boxes, so I'm going to shrink it down. We have to reduce it uh, even further. We can do it's not a problem. But it should fit in the box. So I've got name. I'm going to move that into that box there. In the next box, oh, I don't want that. Signature. Let's shrink that down again. Will that fit down to 10? It might have to go a bit smaller. Now we are going to try and fit these in all the boxes, so we're doing our best we can to make sure that they fit in. If I have to maneuver the boxes around a little bit later, I can do. And in the end box there, going to have date. Again set my text size to 10 and I'll fit date in again. I might have to go a bit smaller again. Use with that. No in there. Okay and fit that into the box. And as you can see I'm just going along doing that um, uh, so I will flash back in a second once all of the data is in. Okay so as you can see here now we've um, uh, got the drawing information in there so all of our template information in there so now that I've got that in there is little bits of space is free so I've got this area free so if this was for a company you'd put the company logo in there or some sort of image um, uh, I can put my drawing scale in here I've got my drawing number materials um, I've got my title that I can put into here and so um, let's show us how we can automatically add some of these so I'll demonstrate one and you'll see the other options that are there so if I go to scale here click on scale, the word, and I've got some extra options so I can edit some things about the text, but I've got this bit in the middle here. Now if I go the second one along, it allows me to link to properties. So if I click there, now in here I've got current document properties or model properties if I've got a model attached, but at the moment I've not. But in here I've got some generic properties. So if I click the bo down box, um, for instance, we're looking at scale, so I'm going to go down and I'm going to find the sheet scale. So my sheet scale is here. So if I click on sheet scale, and you'll see instantly my scale's changed down the bottom corner. Now the reason for that, my sheet scale at the moment is one to one. So if I change that sheet scale, it would change the value in this bottom corner here. Um, it's set as one to one on here, so if I tick there, it automatically adds that in. So you can do the same with things like the title of the drawing, the drawing number, materials, um, lots of information that you can pull from your model or from the page itself. Uh, and it will automatically add that in using that same exact process. Okay, so hopefully that helped. And hopefully now you should all have um, a drawing page set up with all the extra information at the bottom, um, leaving you with something that you can now put your own personal touch to and add your own SOLIDWORKS drawings to as well. Just something for yourselves. 
Okay, so hopefully you learnt something new from that tutorial. Um, uh, and um, all we need to do to be able to add any extra bits in is just go back on the edit the page button there and then we can now start importing our drawings. Right, so I'm going to leave you with that. Um, uh, hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Please like the content if you're enjoying the content. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Every little, Everybody subscribing helps me to create more content as we go along. Um, and like I say, thanks for watching. So I will see you again soon. Bye for now.